Spring is the best time for buying fresh local strawberries. We've all become accustomed to seeing strawberries in our local markets all year long, but at this time, you'll find that the berries grown locally are probably the sweetest, most flavorful ones that you're gonna find all year long. A couple of things to look for when buying fresh strawberries is first the color. We're gonna to wanna to see a dark red color over the majority of the berry. It's okay if you got a little bit of spotting here and there and a little bit of white around the stem, but you wanna see as much red as possible. The other thing to keep in mind is size really doesn't matter when it comes to strawberries. Different varieties grow in different sizes. What we do find often is that smaller strawberries tend to be a little bit sweeter and a little bit juicier than their bigger cousins. Before you use fresh strawberries, you're gonna to wanna to wash them. But when you wash them is very, very important. When you buy them from a farmer's market, just go ahead and put them in your refrigerator uncovered. And then just before you're gonna use them is when you really need to wash them. If you wash them before and store them in the refrigerator, they're gonna spoil a whole lot faster. There's a couple of different ways to hull strawberries. The one I really like is to use a quarter teaspoon measure because it removes as little of the strawberry as possible. We're just gonna come in underneath the leaves and push gently through. And then as you can see, we've removed very little of the strawberry itself, but all the leaves have come off. While the strawberries at their peak flavor, you might wanna think about storing some in your freezer for later on. One of the best ways to do this is to freeze them whole after you've stemmed them, put them on a baking sheet, pop them in the freezer for about an hour until they get firm. Then you can transfer them to a zip top bag, take out as much air as you possibly can, and then they'll store for a good three to six months. When strawberries are this delicious, I like to let them take center stage and not cover up a lot of their flavor. So one of the ways I love to do this is just slice up the strawberries and then add just a little bit of sugar or some honey or even some maple syrup. And then I'll let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then some of the juices from the strawberries will come out and create a nice little sauce. You don't wanna let this sit too long because then some of the strawberry will start to dry out and you're gonna get too much liquid. 